Here's your forecast from the First Alert Weather Team. And we can invite you into the First Alert Forecast Center to uh, give you an overview of what's going to be a beautiful Sunday across the Cape Fear region. Most backyards will eclipse the 80s with a combination of sun and southwesterly. So more on the summery side of fall, which has both summer and winter elements. But if you say, gosh, it feels like summer, I'd push back because our normal summer is what? 90 degrees. We get pop up thunderstorms It's way humid. Look at that dew point curve. 40s and 50s on the dew point temperatures, so feeling nice and crisp. What are those mums? Your beach forecast for today, upper 70s to near 80 in the air, middle 70s in the surf, light southwesterlies and low breaking waves with a low to moderate risk of rip currents. The tides coming in for east and south facing beaches in the 4 o'clock hour of this afternoon. And on the offshore waters, dryness holds with no advisory, small craft or otherwise. Let's turn to landside, get you outside with the Jail Powell building cam view. White will uh, check out Vineland Station. That sun and southwest breeze combination uh, looks good on you on a Sunday morning. Let's get you to the Murkison building view in downtown Wilmington, where it is officially 65 degrees and that southwest breeze is doing its thing. All over the map, we've abandoned the 40s, 450s and 60s. Nobody the 70s yet, but I expect some of those to mix in as soon as next hour. Your radar scan free and clear clear of showers and storms, which is like the umpteenth day in a row. We have some way offshore and some connecting with those in South Florida. And you see this ribbon of rainfall across the eastern and central Great Lakes and uh, into portions of New England. This would be with a cold front. It's dynamic enough to ring out some raindrops here. This front is going to blast south. It's going to lose its rain, but it will have some teeth in terms of delivering us our next chill down. So stand by for that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm talking about meantime in the tropics. No active storms. There is a disturbance out east. It's called invest 94 L. Its development odds from the National Hurricane Center have moved from medium to low. So hey, that's a good trend. Hopefully that'll continue, but something to watch where the disturbance enters a development zone a little bit closer to the Caribbean. And I hope you watch. I'd love to have your company for Shooting the Breeze, episode 19. My digital program gives you an opportunity to test your knowledge of the Cape Fear region's wild autumn temperature swings. Those are pretty famous. And also, speaking of famous, or should I say infamous, Category 4 Hurricane Hazel. It's landfall anniversary, 70 years this week. And I had a really special conversation with a Channel 6 news photographer who helped cover Hazel. It's a sobering conversation. Check out Shooting the Breeze at WECT.com slash anywhere or anywhere you like to stream. Let's revisit that point of a midweek chill down. Sweatshirts, jackets all in play for days like Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Another warm up Emma toward the end of the period. And of course, we're starting warm with 80 plus today and tomorrow. Back to you.